Thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off tonight. After losing her job and home, a single mother is trying to find stable shelter and food for her family. But New Orleans East is a desert for the kind of resources she needs. And now Councilman Oliver Thomas is calling for more services in his district. Eleanor Tabone has the story. I was in a car accident. Imagine losing everything you own. My car was totaled and that, uh, you know, that that messed with my transportation if, as far as me getting back and forth to work. And my job, they, they was not willing to, to work around it. No longer having a roof over your head, wondering how you're going to feed your family. It's hard and then with no help, it's, it makes it even worse. It happened to Therese Bijou after she lost her job. Now she and her four children and their dog, Junior, living in this one bedroom, hotel room. I don't even have the words to describe it, but it's, it's real hard and there's not many resources that we can call on. Because there are virtually no family service offices in New Orleans East, every day she travels deeper into the city to find the closest food bank and housing help. With a three-year-old, you know, she's always complaining that it's hot and going from one place to another, just hours on the bus waiting to go to one spot and then you get here, then I'm sorry we can't help you, then it's hours to another stop. and. Linda Lewis with Louis Armstrong Family Services is paying for Therese's shelter. She's she says Therese's story either. is a familiar uh, one. More people now than ever that's been calling for immediate services. But for families in the East, access to those resources involves miles of travel. Which city would not have critical services to services, services population? Well, this city does Councilman Oliver Thomas is asking why. Wouldn't it be a whole lot better if the population, if the most needy population, could walk up the street to be serviced mm -hmm. or to go to a government agency or government building? He says access to help could solve a multitude of problems across the city. A lot of what we see with crime, a lot of what we see with poverty, a lot of what we see with displacement is because major organizations that receive millions and billions of dollars over decades are not where their service population is, period. As for Therese, she's waiting to hear back from a prospective employer so she and her family can find their own place to call home. My mom told me, you know, she always told me I'm a strong woman and, and to keep fighting and pushing forward and I, I don't like my kids to see me hurt. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.